What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Dark Souls Remastered video here on the channel. This one we're going to be making our way back to the, uh, what is it called? The New Londo Ruins? Uh, because we didn't fight the boss within that area that we went to the last time. And it took me a while to figure that out, man. I was like right here for trying to figure out what boss haven't I, haven't I done. I had three Lord Souls, and of course, come uh, come to find out that I totally forgot to go back to fight the four kings. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that in this video. Full disclosure: four kings is or can be a pain in the ass. So there's that. We're definitely gonna go ahead and take him out in this one, though. So be ready for that. But first things first, we have to go to this area first where there's a bonfire in the grassroot basin or forest or garden or whatever uh, that makes it easily accessible to get to, uh, you know, the, the, the area where he's at. So there's that. If you're excited for this video, though, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this one and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So let's go ahead and get on with it. All right, so the good thing about... Well, I mean, I suppose I could just warp there. I can warp over to uh, the Undead Parish. And the good thing about that is that it's pretty good access or quick access to get to the area of Dark Root. Uh that is uh where the bonfire is if you guys remember we actually took out a uh, black knight right next to that bonfire that bonfire is very important because of that reason um it's just super easy to get to four kings from that bonfire in my opinion it's also um i mean there's other ways you can get through you can get through it from firelink shrine going through new londo ruins and doing it that way but I feel like that defeats the purpose because you have to go through two separate areas. You have to go through New Launder Ruins and the uh, area where the Four Kings are, obviously. So, it's almost redundant. You might as well just go straight to him. Alright, it's this way. And then this way. This place can be pretty confusing. One time I, I literally just, thinking that there was a road, I literally just walked off the cliff and I just died. It was actually pretty funny. Oh god, my controller unplugged for a second. I hope that doesn't happen while I'm fighting the four kings. That would suck. So if you guys don't know, the four kings is basically just like a DPS run. Uh, if you don't take out one of like the 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 four kings like fast, they'll just keep respawning over and over. I think there's a limit to them, but it doesn't change the fact that it's a really big pain in the ass dude if you don't take them out because then you have to fight multiple uh four kings essentially in a row hold on what's oh yeah this is the way this is the thing that tells you there's a black knight what does it say amazing treasure ahead yep i used that shield for a long time the grass crest shield it's a good one and then this is the bonfire that i was telling you about um I'm not sure if this is kindled. Well, I know for sure it's not kindled. I don't know what level of kindled this is, so I have to do this one at a time. Eh, fuck it. I'm pretty sure I only have two, because I, I came here before I had the uh, right the right of kindling or whatever it's called. And I feel like having 20 Estuses in this specific area, or for this specific boss, it's, it's almost mandatory in my opinion. It's one of the only bosses that I would probably say get 20. But for the most part, you'll be fine with 10 or even 15. 20 is a little excessive for the most part, but... I mean, you can't... You, it's, I mean, I suppose you can't complain if you have 20 because it's... Having more is always better than not enough, you know? What does this say? Drake ahead? Man, Drake is everywhere, isn't he? We're gonna come all the way downstairs and he's gonna be having a concert. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom and I'm still on the bottom trying to take the elevator, gonna go up to the, to the bonfire. That was terrible, sorry. All right, and as for these guys, I literally say fuck it and just run. Run! Come on, baby. And run! 
I hate those guys, dude. So much. Run! Oh, dude, it's so scary. There was a time where I would fight those guys. Oh, God. Die? What are you doing? Die! These guys can drop chunky monkeys. Uh, the Titanite chunks. I call them chunky monkeys. I don't know why. Don't don't tell me. Don't ask why I do it. I just do it. All right. Hello. God, these guys hit so hard, man. Hit. I think those things steal humanity. And see, Titanite chunk. Bam. Bingo. They also drop a pretty decent amount of. Uh, of souls. What's up, buddy? Yeah, the last time we came through here, we legitimately went all the way through this entire dungeon and totally freaking didn't fight the boss. Because we ended up finding the, uh... Oh no, man, my freaking controller keeps shutting down on me. If that happens during the, during the freaking Four Kings, I'm gonna die. Question. Do I have... Okay, so I have... I have this. That would come in handy. I wish I had the electricity ones, but it's all good. Hiya! What are you doing? I mean, I don't know what he did there, but... Uh, Alright, I guess. And then right here... Oh, I already got this, didn't I? So this guy over here, I'd like to take him out as like a failsafe, kind of like just in case he ends up finding me. But look, you just need to relax a little bit, all right? Come on. Can you please come up here now? Thank you. These guys hit really fucking hard, man. So you gotta be careful. There we go. Then right here, I highly recommend you take one of those because they there's a few ghosts here that like to ambush you. They come out of this wall essentially. Come on. Check it out, watch. They'll come any minute now. There they are. Dead. Get out of here. Woo, that turned out great, actually. Then that guy, I believe, just runs away. Alright. Dead. Nice try there, buddy. Oh, God. We're almost to the... To the boss fight. Let's go. Where are you going? That kick, by the way, very deceptive. But that kick, believe it or not, does a lot of damage. Um. Summon Beatrice. Sure, why not? I like summoning. Summoning is fun. Any day now, Beatrice. It's about freaking time. Alright. Are you coming? Alright, she's coming. That ghost that ran away, by the way. He's right over here. Hello. Wait. Also, you don't want to come over here without the ring of Artorius or the Covenant of Artorius because you will die luckily you get this by fighting and defeating Sif one of my favorite bosses for its lore Sif and Artorius are my two favorite bosses in the game uh, Artorius believe it or not is actually uh, pretty difficult in my opinion everybody gets scared of Manus but Manus I didn't have any problems with Manus 
in any time that I've ever bought, uh, fought him. Uh, Artorius, on the other hand, he can be pretty difficult. Alright, ready? Let's go. Alright, let's go. As soon as they appear, I'm going to pop fire. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Come on, Beatrice. I need your assistance. No, no. That hurt. Come on. Let's go. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Please don't die. Oh. That's, uh, it's not too bad, actually. And this guy's dead. All right, one down. Beatrice, no, I need you. Well, Beatrice is dead. Come on. Oh, fuck. This guy's done. Legitimately, I mean legit, I'm kind of nervous right now without Beatrice. I'm coming for you, buddy. Let's go. Oh no, it's still coming. Oh, fuck me. Don't die, damn you! Oh, snap. Alright. Alright, I need a heal. Oh no, here comes another one! This guy needs to die. I can't see. Where is he hitting? There we go. Come on. No, no. Woo! Thank God. Alright. Let's heal. That didn't work. Let's go. Oh, snap. Come on. Dead. Woo! Not bad at all. And now we have all four of the Lord Souls. Um, so if you didn't talk to that one... Uh, fuck, I can't remember his name. The big lizard penis-looking thing uh, over there by Firelink Shrine. Right after you defeat the four kings, a different one, like maybe his brother or something, appears right here. It's actually pretty creepy. Let's go ahead and warp to Firelink Shrine. And, uh... And we'll level up over here, uh... Real quick. Let me see, level up. We'll definitely give this to Dexterity to make it even. Vitality and then, oh, okay. So there's that. Bingo. Woo, that was actually not that bad. Um, I wanna see if that dude over there, if he can sell me some electric ones. I'm not gonna need uh, these for a while, so. That's good. I can't remember if the DLC areas have ghosts. I mean, I think they might, but I don't really remember. All right, let's take out homeboy over here. Bingo. Hello. Goodbye. 
I just want to kill all these guys real quick. Actually, you know what? What I should have done? Let's go buy a shitload of poison arrows. I feel like poison arrows would be a lot more beneficial to me. We gotta prepare because the next part is DLC areas. Yes. Alright, let me see. Purchase item. Arrows. Poison. How many can I buy? 172? Eh, I suppose that'll have to do for now. Let me check the dude at the bottom. Just to see if I can actually buy the electric things from... The electric... Uh, what is it called? Gold Pine Resin. I don't know why it was so hard for me to remember what it was called. But yeah, Gold Pine Resin. Alright, let's go down here. Because I believe he only allows you per gameplay. That dude over there on the bridge. I think only like three per gameplay. God, it scares me every time. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> if you say so, oh, I can buy. Let's go ahead and use some souls. Alright, let me see. Whoops. Uh, do I have souls? How much is this? We'll use... We'll use four, only because I don't know how much this is. Oh, perfect. Purchase. Oh, so I can only buy two. That sucks. Well, I mean, there is a silver lining. I could use this to repair all of my items in preparation of the DLC, because that's literally what's next. All right. Let's go. Repair. Whoops. Bingo. Honestly, I kind of... I kind of want to wear... Uh, the Elite Armor Set. I do like that armor set a lot, actually. Elite... Wait. Yep, Elite... Uh, I think I have to go up. No, that's Knight Armor. Elite Knight. Elite Knight. Elite Knight. And then this, I'll be able to roll faster if I put on Havel's Ring. Woo! I like this. I like this armor set a lot, actually. This would have benefited me, in my opinion, a lot against the Four Kings. Is this leveled up at all? It's not. Um, oh well, there's that. Let's go ahead and rest. And I know this is a shorter video, guys, but we are definitely going to call it a video right here, right now. In the next video, we're going to do the last final preparations in uh, the game. Because there's a few things that we have to do before we actually activate the DLC. So, in the next video, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be starting the DLC here uh, in the Let's Play, of course. There's four bosses in the DLC area. Uh... All of which are great bosses. I think the bosses in the DLC as a whole are just in general better than any boss in the main game. Uh, in my opinion. With the exception of maybe a, a couple. But overall, in general, I love the DLC bosses in this game. They're so fantastic. But if you're excited for that one, for that next video, or if you enjoyed this one, or if you're even enjoying the series, do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces